uh, you know, disappointing loss this past week to a uh, very good Louisiana Monroe football team. I uh, thought our kids played hard. I uh, thought we, you know, started off the game really well. Thought we, you know, started off fast, uh, which is what we had challenged them to do, and thought we played a good, good first, uh, good first half. Uh, and then, you know, second half we couldn't get the stops and could not get, uh, you know, we couldn't generate enough offense and get any points on the board to give us a chance to uh, to win the football game. Now we turn the page to a, uh, a really good uh, Louisiana Lafayette football team that is, you know, right at the top of the league and, and total offense, scoring offense, a lot of different offensive categories. Um, very explosive team. They've got, you know, quarterback is a very good football player, a couple of good running backs and uh, good at the offensive skill positions. I think their O-line is one of the better ones uh, in the league. Uh and defensively, a lot of good athletes. So, uh, big challenge for us this week, but we're looking forward to uh, having a great week and, and going and playing a, a, a very good Louisiana Lafayette football team. Thank you very much, Coach. Our first questions come from uh, Dan McDonald with The Advocate. Dan, please go ahead. Morning, Coach. Your team. Good morning, has, Dan. Yep. Your team's played, I mean, four. Four of the better teams in this league over the last four weeks. Is is it hard to judge how good your team has been, or get some kind of uh, measuring stick or focus when you've played, you know, the three teams you have, especially over the last three weekends? Yeah, you know, I, I don't know. It, it, I think I know where we're at. I know we're young at a lot of spots, and the spots where we're, you know, and we we've got some inexperience at some spots, and we we played a lot of young guys here lately, which is which is going to pay off for us as, as we move down. Hopefully it'll start paying off for us this week. Uh, you know, we played a lot of good football teams as you, you know, the happy States and Troy and Georgia Southern and uh, Monroe and Arkansas State. I mean, all those good football teams. And, and it is, you know, this is my first time through the league. Uh, and it's good to see, you know, kind of where we're, I know where, I know where we're at at a couple of different spots and, and uh, this kind of gives you an idea of, of, of some of the teams that are being very successful of, of what they look like on the O-line, what they look like on the D-line, what they've got at the skill positions and, and where we need to uh, – where we've got to get to. Uh, so it, it's been a, a, a good uh, – you know, we we played some of the better teams in the league, and with another one coming up this week, and I, I like the way that our guys worked and uh, are pushing to, to to get better. And we know where we got to get to, and look forward to to making that progress and getting there this week. You've got a guy, uh, Barge, has been around for a while. Uh, been a guy that sort of anchored your defense uh, going into his his last couple of games. What has he meant to you? Yeah, Bull is as been tremendous for us. Bull's a great leader and he's got shows up every day and goes to work and then, you know, makes a lot of plays on the field. So uh, you know, he he's he's meant the world to us. He has been a uh he's been a guy that, you know, been a lot of adversity this year. Uh and Bull's a guy that has helped us through helped us navigate through that adversity because of his his attitude and leadership abilities. What do you see from this uh, Louisiana team? Obviously, they, they've been very successful offensively. Uh, what do you see defensively? Yeah, you know, Ron Roberts, I, I played against Ron last ever, ever how many years that when I was at Central and he was at Southeastern. And, yeah, I, I see a very well-coached defense with a lot of talent, a lot of a lot of speed. I know he's playing some young guys over there. Uh, and the last two weeks, I thought they, I think they held Georgia State to 22, and I think held Troy to 26 the week before. Uh, and I think they're a defense that's getting better. Uh, you know, especially here the, the uh, I see them. You know, I think they've made a push over these last couple of weeks, and and really uh, made a lot of improvement. But I, you know, Ron keeps it multiple on defense, mixing the three man fronts with the four man fronts. And, uh, you know, he can bring pressure from a lot of different uh, places, which that's kind of always been his trademark is being very aggressive defensively and doing a great job of, of getting after the quarterback. 
what's the couple of things that your guys have to do? Yeah, you know, the last two weeks, uh, you know, early in the year, turnovers were, were killing us and penalties. And the, the last two weeks, we hadn't committed a turnover. And, you know, this past week, we had five penalties. Um, the week before that was good. So we, we're making improvements in the area, in some of the areas that were, that was hurting us early. What we've got to do is, is continue to do those, you know, the, the, the turnovers and the penalties, keep those to a minimum. And then we've got to make some plays offensively. We, we've got to, you know, we're, we're close to being able to, to, to make plays, but, you know, we got to make plays. This past week, we got down in the red zone and, had to kick a field goal, then we got down in the red zone and couldn't convert. Had field goal attempt. We got to finish in the red zone, which is uh, make a couple of more plays defensively. Uh, we've got to eliminate the big play. We're, we're giving up uh, too many, too many big plays. And what? And we're, we're going, you know, we're going to try to do some things to help us out there. Appreciate it, coach.